Hi, I'm Millie. Hi, I'm Kitty from, from Official London, London Theatre, and this is the Western Roundup. Coming up this episode, we chat to the cast and creators of Mary Poppins. There's a brand new production of Hello Dolly, and more. But first, hot, hot and fresh, fresh news. news. Multi Olivier Award winner Imelda Staunton is back where she belongs in Hello Dolly. This brand new production reunites Melda Staunton with director Dominic Cook following the critically acclaimed Follies at the National Theatre. This is also the first time that Hello Dolly has been put on in the West End in over a decade. Waitress have announced an extension with their final performance at the Adelphi Theatre now being on July 4th. Following the end of their West End season, the production will embark on a UK tour. Full details of the dates and places they'll be going um, can be found on their social. Three-time Olivier Award winner Dame Eileen Atkins and recent breakout star Timothy Chalamet are coming to the Old Vic next spring. Timothy and Dame Eileen will play the lead roles in Amy Herzog's Pulitzer Prize for Drama-nominated play 4,000 Miles in April next year. 4,000 Miles is part of Old Vic artistic director Matthew Walkers' Season 5, which also includes A Christmas Carol, Endgame and Local Hero. The Perfect Nanny is back in the West End as Mary Poppins has returned to the Prince Edward Theatre. We recently caught up with the cast and creatives from the show on press night and we also recently chatted to Joseph Milson who plays George Banks and Claire Moore who plays Miss Andrews in an exclusive interview. Let's take a watch. Almost to the night, we reopened yeah. it 15 years ago in the same theatre. Yeah, and that's wonderful. Coming home and reinventing a new sh the show that was with all this amazing new talent is fantastic, isn't it? And it, it's, it it's, it's another generation, 15 yeah. years. It, God, don't It's a generation, isn't it? Yeah, I was and saying, I was only seven when we did it. Yes, <laughs> Stephen was, well, um, I was eight Because when I came to the previews, I came quite fresh. I hadn't seen their version of the show uh, and, and I was a kind of novice audience member uh, and I was very pleased. I arrived with a pad, you know, to make notes and blah 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 and I never wrote a thing down. I just watched the show and went home and I loved it. I've been able to open this show in London and around so many of, of my mates, I'm from London, so being able to open this and, and be here with everyone is just magical. It really is. This is, this is one of the best shows in the West End and it's magical to be a part of it, it really is. After about 10 minutes this show looks after us as well as the audience and we're all fine. Yeah. 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 It's just a joy. I'm having a little too much fun I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he needs yeah. to calm down Yeah, I will. I'll rein it in. Yeah, please. I'm, I'm big and loud and talkative and I always want to be the centre of attention and you know, Bert is big and loud and wants to be the centre of attention a lot of the time so I kind of get to push myself onto this role sometimes which is really great and I really enjoy getting to do that with a great cast of people who all just want to work to get this show as best as it possibly can be. Yeah. Loads of people when I started this were like, oh my God, you're the suffragette. And I was like, no, we're not doing the film Boats version. Yeah. We're not doing that song. Yeah. And, and they were like, oh, and I was like, no, it's brilliant. Cause She's got such an arc, and I think Votes for Women is the sequel to this. Yeah. I think if Mrs. Banks that's was in the sequel, that's when she's yeah. in the song. But, so I felt like I could sort of start from scratch with it, because it's not really similar to the film in that sense, in the story-wise. So um, I've loved every minute of it. Yeah. I'm loving it. I get booed yeah. an awful lot. Um, yeah, but, um, so... Yeah, until the curtain call. Oh, I don't know, I get booed at the end of my early? song oh, as well you? now. Brilliant. Yeah, I am, yeah, so... Which so is great. Fantastic. It's brilliant. I've never really been a baddie before. I'm loving oh, it. Absolutely it loving it. But at the end, I mean, they yeah. do go nuts, don't yeah. they? And, yeah. and the, the magical moment at the end, which I won't describe in case anybody's not seen it, but it's, it's just brilliant. Yeah. The whole company. I mean, and ZZ and Charlie lead oh, the company. So... Yeah fantastically and it's just the, the audience seems to be enjoying it I haven't asked anybody all the way through but from from their it. response at the end I They're think laughing all the way it's and, just what uh, you need yeah, it's fantastic yeah, yeah. we're really lucky yeah, yeah, yeah. well it's That's it's beautiful and as you say you know about the human tale I think we we all see something of ourselves or something that we want ourselves to mm -hmm. be and and it's just so it's a real breath of air, yeah, just just yeah. what we need right now, and a proper family show. With kind of grade A Broadway standard dancing. I mean, oh, they really? are, they have got the cream of the crop in this this cast. It's, it's true. The, the ensemble is it, is they incredible. Are unbelievably good. You always think I'm ensemble late for seems. Costume changes. Yeah. Time stuck. Could you watching keep watching? Stepping change from the wings, just like. Yeah, I was going to say, because Matthew Vaughan, isn't it, who... Uh, and Stephen Mir, yeah. yeah. And how's that, their dancing, how's that Just been watching? Superb. It's incredible, yeah. because also everything that he does, I am no dancer any, uh, at all. But 
even I'm managing the ography at oh, the yeah, end. Oh, yeah, the end. Uh, because he, he, Matthew just seems to make everything make sense because it's all about the storytelling. And, of yeah. course, it's also, once you're a dancer, it's about the technicalities of that, and I wouldn't be able to put one foot in front of the other and honour any of his choreography. But, but seeing what they do and just it makes so much sense doesn't it yeah. no no dance step in the entire show is gratuitous no. you know and and they make it look easy yeah. you know i think the ensemble so it's almost like a a, a c-grade word um yeah. i don't think people realize because they do make it look so easy how difficult is their job you yeah. know um because they do have to do everything absolutely together yeah. they work as one and without the ensemble, there wouldn't be no show, no, no, you no. know. And they not only dance brilliantly, but then you stand and listen to them oh, singing, yeah. and you just say, oh, really? That's not intense. That's These so are, mean. They're all triple threats, yeah, 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 yeah. It's practically perfect in every way, and of course, it's here to stay at the Prince Edward Theatre. Currently booking until June 2020, you can of course get your tickets from Official London Theatre. Well that's all we've got time for this week. From exclusives, news and interviews, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you want even more musical content, check out new radio station Magic at the Musicals, which has launched just this week. You can listen on DAB Plus in London, South and East of England, or nationwide online. See you next time.